are the profile of this game and of football within the uh, Japanese nation is very, very much higher. And the conditions here are perfect. The crowd have had a very successful season of uh, Japanese football to get their teeth into. The whole attitude to the game here is different. This used to be a social show showpiece. Now it's just another major event. So we await the kickoff of the almost last major event in the Japanese season and the 14th Toyota Cup. And we're away. AC Milan, of course, in their black and red, chasing forward immediately against the Sao Paulo of uh, Brazil. Both writing new chapters of history. Both have been there before in uh, winning form. No Italian side has lost here, no Brazilian side has ever lost here, so something's got to change here. Sao Paulo, the first club in 15 years to retain the Libertadores Cup, the first South American club to compete in Tokyo in consecutive years. And Milan, the richest club in the world, but with uh, seven very big names out of the uh, possibility of playing here. And uh, controversially, Savicevic, the Montenegrin, left out because of a misunderstanding about the regulations. It was assumed, because he was sent off uh, in 1990, playing for Red Star Belgrade, he wouldn't be eligible for this match. But in fact, after a lot of discussion, he, it was deemed that he was eligible. But in the time of the discussion, Capello, the Milan coach, had decided that he wouldn't play him. He wouldn't risk him, and he decided when he got the uh, go-ahead to uh, include him if he wished, he decided to stick with his original choice. We see how it works. There's uh, Maldini knocking it into Albertini. Forward goes Massaro in a strong run. He runs into uh, Valbert, and there's uh, Cafu knocking it forward, looking for Palina. Well, it's noticeable that uh, Milan have taken the game straight to uh, Sao Paulo, just as Barcelona did uh, last year and uh, scored the first goal, of course. Cafu knocking it away. So, foul there by the experienced Baresi. Looked like a very inexperienced challenge on uh, Palina and uh, Baresi, are never present this season in the Italian league. Looks as if he might be hobbling a little bit. So we've got uh, Valbert at the back trying to knock it forward and getting a rather pointed look from a couple of players, just giving it away. So Papa out front with uh, Radicoil, four players in midfield for Milan, and no doubt Maldini and Panucci will get forward from the fullback positions. Cizzetti. Cafu on the right-hand side will always try to get forward into an attacking role. Toninho Cerezo. Wide here to Andre, the 19-year-old. Leonardo, but straight into uh, mass ranks of Italians in midfield. Ronaldo, Cerezo. Mila turns well. Leonardo's gone forward. They're knocking it around beautifully here. Sao Paulo having a bit of space. Cafu's gone wide on the right-hand side. Palinho is uh, through the middle. This is Cafu. Oh, he beats Maldini. That takes him doing. But quick support from Massaro. Albertini was in there, but gave it away. Sometimes the South Americans come here and they play it fairly cagedly early on. Sao Paulo didn't do that last year, and they're not doing it here. As uh, Cafu gets forward on the right-hand side, referee's whistle goes. Free kick. A lot of experience from both teams. The referee right onto that one as Cafu uh, fouled Maldini. A lot of experience in both sides and experience of this particular match. And that's very valuable, both coaches have said, because of uh, the atmosphere, which is a little bit different. 
because of the pitch, which is very much improved, and because of the fact that it's a one-off situation against a style that normally neither side would have played against. A bit of a careless pass there leads to a Milan throw. This is Desai, he couldn't control it well. Not particularly good at all from the former Marseille player. Ronaldo, big, solid central defender. Muller right up front with uh, Paulinho. Well, a little bit of play is inactive at the back here. Here's Zambro. Valbert, Cafu are trying to get players to come to them. Cafu will always go down the right hand side like a right winger, and he does well, but into trouble, outnumbered. Easily won back by Maldini and Barese. Too strong by the Italian captain. Papin puts a bit of pressure on Valbert and Ronaldo. This is Doriva, the holding player, 22 year old, wearing five in front of the back four. This is too much, surely, for Paulinha. It is. Doriva tries to get in, a little touch by Radicoyu. In goes Ronaldo, strong challenge, the referee didn't like it. But, as Miller says, Miller, as we prefer to pronounce him, that looked like a reasonable challenge. He jumped at him, according to the referee, showed his studs and that's illegal. Oresi to Maldini. Massaro has gone down the left-hand side, but the tackle was quickly put in by Palina. 96th game of the calendar year for Sao Paulo. A ridiculous amount, everybody agrees. No more so than Tele Santana, their coach, who is uh, highly critical of the way Brazilian football is run. But he still manages some great achievements. Here's uh, Rodachoy, and ball. Referee's been very strict at the moment. Humus of uh, anguish from Capello, the AC Milan coach. Milan, of course, fortunate to get an appearance here in Tokyo, replacing uh, Marseille. But an opportunity well worth taking. There's uh, quite a lot of money in it, as well as uh, prestige. But the prestige really is more important to the South American side because of the commercial spin-offs that come from claiming the unofficial, at least, World Club title. Here's Albertini to uh, Maldini on the left. Albertini supporting him behind now. Desai come to help him. Not a good ball put in, easy one for the Sao Paulo defence, but they can't get it away. Desai, not a good ball. Again, towards uh, Maldini. Desai is having a bit of trouble in midfield. It's a breezy, bright day here in Tokyo. Not as warm as it looks. Easily cut out by uh, Panucci. Most of the Sao Paulo attacks so far have been down the right hand side through Cafu, but that was a Radu Joy putting the goalkeeper Zetti under a bit of pressure. Zetti dwelling on it rather too long. Parisi and uh, Muller. Donadoni, Doriva not able to get it through a pack midfield. Palinha, nice turn, foul, good play there by Sao Paulo. A couple of nice little flicks, quickly taken to Palinha. Torino, Cerezo, Valbert, Cafu's gone down the right hand side in the right wing position. This is Torino, Cerezo to uh, Cafu. Oh, Cafu's done well. Can he get the ball over? Still hasn't beaten Maldini. Uh, great play by Maldini. And uh, they say he's the best left back in the world. He certainly wasn't fooled by the tricks of Cafu there. And here come AC Milan, breaking forward on the left-hand side there. Was uh, Massaro, didn't get it. And it's Maldini back to the giant figure of uh, Sebastiano Rossi. Easily picked up by uh, Valbert, if he can keep it in. Just. 
Valbert, one of the eight Sao Paulo players, will be joining the Brazilian national squad. Most of the European foreigners not included in this uh, pre-World Cup friendly in Mexico. Well bound by Panucci. They're not getting down this left-hand side too successfully. Throwing to Sao Paulo. Uh, the pressing game of uh, Inter Milan will mean that Tali Santana's side will have to watch out if they try to get it away too casually, but they've done well here. Muller, beaten by Costa Curta. Desai fouled, free kick to Milan, quickly taken, but the referee wants it to be retaken, the rolling ball. Little knock by Andre. Massar is over the far side, Radu Choi in the middle, this is for Donadoni. And they work it again. Papa lets it go towards Radu Choi, cleared by Gino. Back it again by Donadoni. Massaro is over the far post. Radu Choi, Radu Choi shoots! Good effort, nice turn by the Romanian, but straight at goalkeeper Zetti. Well won by Maldini. And a strong challenge by Cafu. Good effort by this 23-year-old. Nice turn, got a bit of space, but it was straight at the goalkeeper, and that was easy for him. But the player bought at the last minute by Milan because they couldn't afford uh, Fonseca from uh, Napoli. Valbert and uh, Dino. There's a foul there on the Sao Paulo player, Cafu. Late challenge, free kick to the Brazilians. And immediately he wants the ball back again, uh, Cafu crossing into the middle. Panichu gets a header in of sorts. Back in again by Andre, offside. Milan pushing up very quickly there, the offside game very much part of uh, their defensive strength. Baresi pushing players forward, seems to have uh, gathered rather too much in midfield, but here's Radu Choi getting down the left-hand side doing well. Go kick. Sao Paulo defender held him off. Three seasons he had in Italy, Radicio, before he came to AC Milan. Desai, of course, the latest acquisition from uh, Marseille, born in Ghana, came to France when he was four. Still settling into this side and very much into this game. Here's Andre. That was a little bit ambitious from the young defender. Costa Curda sees that back comfortably to his goalkeeper. The build-up down the left-hand side still not working too well for Sao Paulo. Maldini again. Forward to Radicoyo. Can't quite get there, but uh, he puts the defender under pressure. Does well. That was Valbert. It's a very hard one for Muller. Costa Curda knowing Baresi was there. Well won by Big Ronaldo. Massaro down the middle for Papa, that was pretty awful. Baresi doing more pointing and shouting than he normally does at this stage of a the game. They haven't really settled into a pattern at all. Oh, that was a giveaway by Toninho Cerezo. Cerezo over clever and Albertini is in there. He was in the way of that from Panucci. Ronaldo wins. Doriva and Andre, he's under pressure from uh, Donadoni. And again, they're not finding it easy to get it clear. And here comes Massaro. Oh, off the bar and into the arms of the goalkeeper. A terrific strike by Daniele Massaro and a bit of luck. For Zetti and Sao Paulo. Albertini knocks it over. It comes straight out to him on the volley. 
Goalkeeper was beaten and fortunately straight into his arms. What drama here. And that really deserved a goal. That was a superb strike from Massaro. And a bit of fortune for Sao Paulo. The player who can't get into the side regularly almost uh, hit the headlines there. So Sao Paulo uh, off the hook on that one. A chance out of nothing. Zetti definitely beaten. The bar comes to his rescue and a fortunate bounce. That could have bounced in. It could have bounced away from him towards the on-rushing Raduchoyo. It didn't. It went into his arms. A little touch there. And a, a giveaway. The wind, I think, is causing still a few problems as it swirls around this stadium. It doesn't appear to be as strong as it was, but he misjudged that one badly. Away by Leonardo. Nicely in there by Baresi. That free kick given against Palinha. Taken by Baresi. Trying to keep the momentum going here. And that rebounding off of Donadoni for a Sao Paulo uh, throw in. But Capello knows that his side are the more dominant in the first 15 minutes and could easily have been in the lead. Another infringement, this time Sao Paulo's way. Toninho Cerezo at 38 years of age will certainly feel the pressure here. And although he's got talent aplenty, he hasn't got a lot of time. And that was a bad one from young uh, Andre. This is uh, Radu Choyo. Papin's in the middle. Masara's just behind him. Masara's done well here. Ball down. Not a good challenge at all. Masara indicating that there should have been more than just a free kick on this. And naturally, Sao Paulo will bring every player back in the defensive role. We've got uh, Albertini and Massaro on the ball. It's got to be taken again. The referee wasn't ready. And if it's a repeat of uh, what they tried there, they're going to roll it square to Donadoni, who might have a direct shot. Albertini and Massaro with the Maldini in the wall and the referee indicated the wall should come back farther while Zetti waits Albertini fortunately threw a pack of players into the arms of Zetti no real danger goalkeeper had that one easily covered with the help of the wall but it's Milan who the better side in this early stages, certainly the more positive. Easily cut out. Toninho Cerezo goes to help uh, Cafu. They're not getting forward as easily as they did last year against uh, Barcelona. Doriva to Andre. Andre fouled here. Free kick to Sao Paulo. Albert with the long one, which wasn't accurate enough, looking for Cafu, it's a giveaway here, now there might be something on for Raducoy with Papa right in the middle, Albertini's uh, squared up here to help him, this is Desai, uses Donadoni, but the moment might have gone now as Sao Paulo bring a lot of players back, Desai to Albertini, Costa Curda and Baresi, they're knocking it around well, uh, AC Milan, looking good here. Maldini to Raducoyo. Massaro wide, making, making it hard for Sao Paulo to get into this game. And when they do, it's a big boot. And they're not really uh, building up particularly well. Miller knocks the ball out, that's a throw in. Quiet game so far for him. Nothing from midfield really from Sao Paulo. They've been uh, under too much pressure staying in the match. Papa does well to get it back to uh, Panucci. Cafu 
In goes Duriva. I couldn't really get hold of it quick enough. Couldn't find a colleague. They're running in the midfield, AC Milan, at the moment. Cafu against uh, Massaro. Cafu's done well. This is quality play. Palinha. Cafu's pushed forward again. They've changed it wide to Andre on the left. Cafu's still wide over that right-hand side, looking for the big one. This is for Cafu if he can get there. Done well. Palinha. Oh, it's a goal! Palinha's in there. Made by Cafu on the right-hand side. Sao Paulo has struck with their first real attack after 20 minutes. Tremendous strike. And what a run down the right-hand side by Cafu. Palinha coming in on that cross as Muller went to the near post. Terrific play. What a run by Cafu. What a strike by Palinha. Deep cross ball by Andre. Ball into the middle. Palinha's there. 1-0. Great attacking play, celebrations all round. A lot of support here in this ground for the Brazilian side. Palinha has put Sao Paulo into the lead. Totally against the run of play. A brilliant counter-attack. Now what's see what they see Milano made of. Serrano Choyo trying to get it away. Andre, who put that deep crossover from the left to Cafu. That was fine play. And he was definitely the man who made it. There's the crossfield ball. Here's Cafu coming in on it. Knocks it straight back. And Palinha with a close-range drive. Quality stuff from Sao Paulo. They've been under the cosh for the first 20 minutes or so. And Tele Santana's side now leads by one goal to nil. Here they come again. But a little bit over exuberant there by uh, Cafu. And there's a free kick to Milan. The kick has been taken. Cafu's out of the game. They're short of one player in defence. It means that uh, Gino drops back to cover for Cafu, who's still writhing in agony on the ground. And uh, here's uh, Gino here who can sweep up quite comfortably or play for time. Meanwhile, Cafu is in some uh, trouble. Referees stop the game. On come the stretcher bearers. Case is a terminal case. But as the referee indicates, if you want treatment, you have it off the field. So one minute a hero, next minute an injured hero. I suspect he'll be back quite fast. Meanwhile, at the other end, it should be a goal kick. Well, here's how it happened. Pushing, shoving. An elbow in the nether regions. Substitutes warm up for Sao Paulo. But Cafu is trotting back down the touchline, trying to get back into the game. They're down to ten men at the moment, Sao Paulo, as Milan pushed forward. This is Baresi. Massaro wide on the left. There's a fine ball. In goes Albertini. Zetti is going in there, and past the post by the defender, Ronaldo, to save the day as Papa came in. Corner given. The first of the game for Milan. Well, Ronaldo recovers. That was a good bit of defending, getting in the way of Papa. It's going to be Donadoni to take the corner. Cafu is back in, so it's 11 against 11. Maldini is making his way forward here onto the near post. Up he goes. Oh, this is Massaro. Another one deflected away for yet another corner. Massaro looks as if he's uh, really got his shooting boots on here. Headed away, straight to him, ready to have a quick dig, and deflected early on. 
Donadoni going across once more. So Massaro, who was unlucky to see his shot hit the bar and then be gathered by goalkeeper Zetti, sees his side trading by 1-0, but coming back into it here with the second corner. Panucci is pushed up here. Oh, and Radu Choi looked as if he was going to get that, but he was knocked away gently by uh, Andre. Throw in then with uh, Massaro trying the long one. Up goes Radu Choi as Desai. Hacked away by Leonardo. Anywhere will do for the moment until they can push up, get a bit of uh, breathing space. Massaro is on the right hand side at this moment. Ronaldo gets in there, but the referee blows for a foul. Free kick to Milan. The pressure on Sao Paulo. Rodi Choi and Papa on the edge of the area. On the left-hand side, Maldini is free. Oh, it's a good one, but offside. Offside. Papa was in a scoring position, but the linesman said, no, that's illegal. Papa believed that he came late and he might well have done. Level is not offside. It's an interesting one. And as he waved at the linesman, he felt that that was legal. But he missed it. So, something of a let off for Zetti, but the law on his side then. Well, Panucci got it, but it only comes to Leonardo. Over the right hand side is. Uh, Palinha, but he couldn't get the cross in against Costa Curta. Now they're looking a little bit more uh, confident, and you can understand why. Leading by one goal to nil, Andre, deep into trouble there, runs into two solid Milan defenders. Donadoni, easily won by Valbert. Gino, Cafu. Gino plays right at the back, and he's given that one away. That was a poor one from Gino. Forward comes uh, Massaro, another foul, free kick. Gino drops back to cover any time Cafu gets forward on the right-hand side. Cafu in a defensive role here. Not a particularly good defensive role either. It's a free kick. Impeding uh, Maldini there. Desai is pushed up into the penalty area. Zetti goes for it. Touches it well. And relief for Santana and company. High tech coaching here for Barachi Santana, who is in fact the physical trainer of the Sao Paulo side and the Brazil national side. Baresi, nicely away, Donadoni. It's not a particularly good one from Panucci, it's picked up by Andre. Here they come again. This is a nice ball to Leonardo. Cerezo looking for Cafu, too strong, and that's the end of that one. It's noticeable that Maldini is getting very tight with Cafu over on that flank. But they didn't pick him up when he created the goal. Here's Maldini now for AC Milan. Papa coming off his man here, fouled unnecessarily by Doriva because he missed the ball. He didn't need a whack in there, conceding an unnecessary free kick. First club in 15 years to win uh, two Libertadores finals, Sao Paulo, despite the economic problems of Brazilian football. So there's a side of great talent here, but. Milan are taking the game to them for most of this first half, but they trail by that one marvellous goal from Palinho. Maldini looking for Massaro. They do this well enough, but they can't really get the shots in, and they've had bad luck when they have got a clear strike on goal. Gino gets it, but it's Maldini back in there again. Gino once more. Oh, there's a clash of heads, which... The Japanese uh, spectators were more worried about than the referee. Pressure again from AC Milan. Massaro looking for Maldini. A bit of space here, but not much. 
Giving it back to Baresi. Trying to swing it wide to Panucci. Well picked up by Andre and Leonardo. Oh, it's not a bad ball. Just stretched there for Costa Curta to clear. This is Miller. Offside. Miller coming back from an offside position. That was a hard spot. Now, Baresi pushing and pulling and getting people into positions. Panucci 4 2, Donadoni. This is good play. Desai. Ronaldo gets a good challenge in. They clear, but it's a ball which was never really under Sao Paulo's control. Maldini on the left hand side. On the left here is uh, Massaro, ducking and diving, trying to get away from his marker. Forward goes Albertini. Good challenge as uh, Massaro went in there to try and retrieve it. They're playing it neatly forward. Albertini got a foot to it. Flowing play from Sao Paulo. Andre. Toninho Cerezo. 19-year-old to a 38-year-old. And the 19-year-old knocks it wide to Muller. Leonardo's gone into the near post, Palini is on the far post, and uh, the cross was right in the middle of them. That wasn't a good one from Muller, but a good move from uh, Sao Paulo. It didn't really have the conclusion it should have done. Selection of uh, VIPs here. Cerezo gets it away, but not very acrobatically or accurately. Panucci, fouled, although, again, Leonardo had lost possession, he could have let it go. This is Panucci, who came from uh, Genoa, one of the major successes so far of this season for Milan, keeping Tassotti out of the side. Here's Panucci with a cross, which steps high with the header. Got up well, but gets a jeer or two from the very polite... Japanese crowd here. It's pretty obvious who's they're mostly supporting. In the uh, J League here, the professional soccer league in Japan, foreigners are very much allowed five per club, three on any lineup, and more than half of those foreigners in ten sides in the J League are Brazilians, and quite a few coaches are Brazilian. So. So very much uh, Japanese football with a Brazilian flavour here these days. Panucci did well to get ahead of that. Desai, a little knock forward to Radichoy. Here's uh, Donadoni. And now it's more pressing from Milan and uh, a miscue of sorts from Baresi, although uh, he held back at the end and it didn't go out and they get the throw in. Donadoni playing down the right-hand side, Massaro down the left with uh, Albertini and Desai in the centre of midfield. Plenty of pressure, no goal so far for Milan. Radicoy chips it over towards Massaro, and the tumble there by Massaro appeals towards the referee, gets nothing. Sao Paulo come forward gingerly. Leonardo here. Miller just farther forward on the left-hand side. He tried to get it over Panucci. It wasn't a good enough one. And Leonardo gets another attempt. A few errors here. Gino does well. Toninho, Cerezo. Difficult ball for Cafu. That looked a bit of an aged pass there. That was better from Cerezo. Leonardo in possession here from uh, Deriva. Deriva again. Nice little touch from Palinha. This is looking good again for Sao Paulo. Cafu asking for the cross on the right-hand side. This is uh, Palinha chip forward. It wasn't quite accurate enough. A nice idea. That was Valbert pushing forward of all people. Valbert again picking up here. This is a defender who looks uh, and plays confidently enough to get involved here in these attacking moves. Nice play by Leonardo. On loan from Valencia, switch wide towards Muller. Panucci gets it, it's a throw in to Sao Paulo. 
some concerted attacks here from Sao Paulo. As uh, Capello, the AC Milan coach, does a little bit of reorganising. Again, Muller has given that ball away. A player who was uh, disappointing in his spell in Italy for Torino and has been fairly disappointing here against uh, AC Milan so far. This time last year, though, he was very much one of the match winners for Sao Paulo. Something like 35 minutes of the first half gone here in Tokyo. Coverage here by NTV, Channel 4, the senior commercial station in Japan. It's 1-0 to uh, Sao Paulo. As Ronaldo clears uh, comfortably, but not well enough for Palinha. Easily beaten in the air. Zetti backtracking, that's out. And there's some untidy play at the moment from both sides. Which gets an understandable response from the rather muted crowd here. A few days ago, in the middle of the week, there was a very key game in the J-League. The atmosphere very different when uh, Kawasaki Verdi scored uh, four goals against uh, Red Diamonds. This is a spectacle, that was a, a showpiece. And that's uh, Papa to uh, Desai, two former colleagues. And Papa might get through here. Ronaldo did well to get a leg to it. And they might break now. This is uh, Leonardo and uh, Doriva. Still, they can't get the ball accurately enough through the middle to Paulinho and Muller. Maldini down the left hand side. Valbert clears, but the ball is out. They can relax for a second or two. Here's the player, Juninho, who might well come into the second half. He usually replaces Cerezo. They call him a little Zico, which is quite a compliment. So in Milan, still pushing forward, still looking for that equaliser. Andre beats uh, Papa in the air. Desai shoots. And you could tell by Zetti's reaction that that was uh, handsomely wide. And he wasn't happy with it either. Nope. Here's Zetti then, the 29 year old goalkeeper for Sao Paulo. As uh, Sao Paulo here get a free kick. Conceded by Desai. The pace of the game has dropped in the closing stages of this first half, which will suit Sao Paulo. Andre is on the left. Miller is in the middle. Valbe has pushed up, so is Toninho Cerezo for Leonardo's kick. Now what are they going to do? Get on with this as a referee. Oh, didn't get on with it very well either, that was a waste. And conceding a free kick here, Sao Paulo really have got to get their act together better than that. Concede yet another free kick. Milan are getting on top without managing to achieve too much. Donadoni swings it wide. Massaro and Maldini gets forward down the left-hand flank. Brother Choyo, good control. Now Maldini, he's onside, no he's not, the flag goes up late, he's offside. Capello, like a few other Italians here, wasn't happy with that decision, and you can understand why. He's onside there. He's offside. The linesman, I think, was right. But the flag was late. A nice little touch by uh, Palinha, but there's no Muller to support him, so it didn't come to much. Rossi's had very little to do except pick the ball out of the back of the net once. Extraordinary circumstances that Polinia tries to find Muller with a little flick. Leonardo gets in there but concedes... Uh, oh, I thought he conceded uh, a throw in, but he gets a free kick. It's taken quickly. Andre is in trouble. He hasn't had uh, as much time as he would like, this young 19-year-old, with uh, Donadoni and then uh, Panucci getting onto him so fast. 
Some physical play there. Desai gets it away. Ronaldo. Cerezo gets up, is beaten by Albertini. Radu Choyu. Play on. Now it's a free kick. As Massaro checks which way it's going to go. Indirect in favour of the Italians. Against Doriva. Maldini. They badly need something before the half-time break. Milan, after looking the most aggressive, the more dominant side in the first half. With five minutes to go before the break, they're trailing by that one Paligna goal. Panucci, clears well enough. Papa, good control, fouled. It's all a bit broken up. Maldini on the left-hand side. There's a strange one from Barese who tried to knock it straight down the middle. Muller is saying he should have had a free kick there. The referee is saying you're going to get nothing, so play on. The sun comes out, but not on the standard of play at the moment from both sides. It's a bit stilted. It needs a little touch of magic to open it up. And we might get it here. Leonardo wide to Muller. It's a hard one for him against the Panucci. Leonardo's come to help him. Andre is here. Cafu's wide over the right hand side. He wasn't deep enough. Tried the old trick that brought the first goal. Still Sao Paulo. Toninho Cerezo looking for Cafu. Can he get that one? Maldini's first. Held him off. It's a goal kick. Legitimate please, piece of uh, intimidation there where he just got his body in the way of uh, Cafu. So AC Milan, 13 times the Italian champions, four times their cup winners, and three times the European champions. Not having everything their own way here by any means. And uh, despite the fact that they've hit the bar once and uh, pressed forward a lot, trailed by that one goal. And they're not getting through midfield anymore. There was a little kick there by Papa on the Riva, which the referee didn't see. All a bit untidy. But it'll suit Sao Paulo. Provided they don't lose too much concentration. Because I'm sure Telly Santana will have a few words to say at half time. And perhaps a change or two. Because they haven't played particularly well, Sao Paulo, but they're leading. Leonardo gets forward. Costa Curda's a strong fellow. That's a back pass. The goalkeeper's got to be careful. Donadoni does well to control it. But Andre is in there. Back for Muller. Palinia can't get there, it's a headed pass from Maldini. Little touch there by uh, Valbert, knowing that the defender was going to get it. But he's asked a lot of his goalkeeper, and he takes no chances, into touch. Pressing forward now in the last stages of the first half, Milan, looking for that equaliser. Baresi, now Albertini. Cafu is quick, but so too is Massaro. Free kick again to AC Milan. Once more, Sao Paulo get their players behind the ball. Vital that they don't concede one in the last seconds of this first half. Here's uh, Massaro, Albertini. Out here is Donadoni. But uh, Sao Paulo, a lot of players back behind the ball, and they close it down well here through uh, Gino. Way by Costa Corda, and no chance then of Radu Choyo controlling it. It was an awkward ball, and he was closely marked. Throw in to Sao Paulo. It's looking good for them at the moment. Hooked away by Costa Corda. Donadoni to Desai. In goes Ronaldo, who's had a strong first half. Good play by Massaro. It's Papa. Radu Choyo as well. Choi was free on the right hand side. Should he have shot or should he have passed? There was a sharp little movement there by AC Milan, but Reli Choi was in a better position. Good play here. Well, we can't see from this angle where Reli Choi is. There he is on the left of the picture. Very sharply done by the Frenchman, but should he have passed it? And it's still 1 0. With less than a minute to go in this first half on our clock. 
Here's uh, Albertini. Baresi. And uh, Radu Choi wasn't fouled according to the referee, so uh, Sao Paulo can let that one roll out of play, waste a few more seconds, and uh, Jean-Pierre Papin can ruminate on whether he should have scored there or whether he should have passed. But sadly for AC Milan, he didn't either. Zetti with a kick for Sao Paulo. Easily picked up by Costa Cuda. Hard one for Donadoni. Nicely done. Good play. Clever stuff down the right hand side. Desai switching it towards Massaro. Maldini's just behind him. Tried a clever flick. Didn't need to do that, but he's fortunately got it back again. Maldini's gone down the left. This is Massaro who's fouled again. No, play on. Let it go. They're still in possession. Time added on in his first half now as Milan look for the equaliser. Massaro out to Maldini. And uh, Palinio will pick it up. Cerezo to Cafu. They play it so neatly in uh, short areas. Forward goes uh, Cerezo, a hopeless task. And he acknowledges it was a pretty poor pass. But Palinio, the hero of the moment. Cerezo at the age of 38 doesn't want to chase lost causes like that. And indeed, that is the end of the first 45 minutes in which AC Milan did most of the attacking. They had Massaro who hit the bar and then uh, the rebound was grabbed. Side ...to kick off and leading by that one 20th minute goal scored by Palinha, their number nine on the ball at the moment. Over the years, uh, Brazil have won this trophy three times, Uruguay three times, Argentine twice. As we start the second half here with Sao Paulo well aware that really they're pretty fortunate to be 1-0 in the lead. In terms of statistics, AC Milan had eight shots to Sao Paulo's one in the first half. And one of those shots, of course, uh, hit the bar by Massaro. And a couple might perhaps have done better. One from Albertini, one from Papa. Uh, Sao Paulo were under a lot of pressure. Tele Santana will know that, but they're pushing forward here, the opening stages of the second half. As Leonardo tries to get one in, and that was a brilliant piece of play by the former Valencia player. Just skidding across the front of uh, Rossi's goal. Could that have gone in from that angle? It almost did. He was a bit worried as Polina came in. Leonardo and the midfield players of Sao Paulo have really been uh, under a lot of pressure in this game. Managed to get forward like that on too many occasions. This Panucci. Forward for Papa, that's an easy one for the big defender Ronaldo. But it means a bit more space gained by Milan. Desai. Not an easy one to clear. Leonardo forward, but again, not decisive enough for Paulinho. Kicked away. Gino. Cerezo quickly towards Cafu, the attacking defender. Gino. 4 1. Well, I wonder what uh, Fabio Capello said to his uh, Milan side. They played pretty well in the first half. There's a free kick here that might help them. They're trading by one goal to nil, but surely if they keep up the momentum they had, certainly in the first 25 minutes, they must have a chance of getting back into this game. This time last year, of course, Barcelona were one up, then lost 2 1. It could act in reverse here for Sao Paulo. So Donadoni on the ball. Wide on the right-hand side is uh, Panucci. The yellow card for not retreating far enough. Donadoni chips forward. It's away by Muller, back in the defensive role, back in by Panucci. Panucci going again. Cerezo beats him to it, but it's still every player except Muller 
back in the defensive role now for Sao Paulo. As the big long one comes in with uh, Tonucci in there. No, he didn't get it. Desai knocks it back in again. It's a difficult one as Masara gets in. Masara has got it. And it's a Sao Paulo delayed. And the Masaro swooped. And it's 1-1. Delight for AC Milan, despair for Sao Paulo because they should have got that clear. Zetti should surely have come for that. As Desai knocked that back in to the penalty area, surely that should have been comfortably clear. But Massaro has put them back in the game. So this is a partially cleared throw in. Desai knocks it back in again, not a constructed ball at all. Where's the goalkeeper? Well, he's too late. He's stuck on his line and it's 1 1. Massaro the scorer. It's a ball that he should attack, and he doesn't. And Massaro beats Raduchoy to it, and Milan are level. He did well to get in on that, that wasn't an easy half volley, but that should have been the goalkeeper's ball. Here they come again. A free kick. Now that will give AC Milan exactly the encouragement they needed they've been the better side in the first half now they've uh, picked up a goal early in the second half and they uh, all being well they could add to that chance perhaps for a direct drive Desai has got a big boot on him Dassey drives, and uh, I don't know whether that was a shot or whether it was a pass towards Rally Choi, but it was pretty uneventful. But nevertheless, that ball he put into the penalty area from that half-cleared throw-in has put AC Milan and Capello and his team back into this contest. And uh, very much wide open now. Panucci wins that. Offside by at least two Sao Paulo players. Cereso getting forward into the midfield position. Uh, I wonder if the sun was a problem for Zetti. And now he puts his uh, cap on to protect him. Cerezo, a difficult ball from uh, Gino. Gino's giving it away again. That's happened quite a lot. And it's uh, Donadoni who rarely gives it away. And in here is Massaro again. Well, he was quickly closed down. That was some ball from Donadoni. A mistake by Gino. And the uh, tackle was a good one in the end. The touch Masaru before he got the shot in, but that was a lovely crossfield pass. It's Milan right on top here. Maldini is on the near post. Uh, Raduchoy over the far post. There's Maldini. There's a Raduchoy here, knocks it out here to Masaro. Not quite accurate enough. And they closed him down a bit quickly. Albertini wide to Donadon. Does well, but fouled by Cafu. Not looking too good at the moment for Sao Paulo. They're losing their cool a little bit giving away free kicks in very dangerous areas now Donadoni Maldini's pushed up here back to uh, Albertini Desai's over the far side the jump and here's uh, Papa oh and Radu Choi looked ready to swoop on that one as uh, Panucci put it into the middle they're very much on top now, AC Milan. They can turn this game in their favour. Panucci down the right-hand flank for that one. Good return. Panucci. Papa's in the middle. A lot of players making themselves available for AC Milan. Here's uh, Donadoni playing on the left-hand side in this half. So far. Albertini and Donadoni again. Play on, that was a dive, said the referee, no foul. Cafu 
Oh, Cafu gets away with that one well. Cerezo ducks away from Desai, that is a foul. Almost tackled the referee as well. Well, Danny Santana must have uh, acknowledged that uh, Milan were a little bit unlucky in the first half, considering again putting Junio on in place of Cerezo offside, though, against uh, Leonardo here. Trying to get back into an onside position, failed. The line pushed up by Baresi again. Desai, not totally elegant, but seems to do some effective things. That was a little bit silly by uh, Cerezo, giving another unnecessary free kick away, and his days might be numbered in terms of uh, playing here for Sao Paulo at least. Albertini makes a run towards the near post, up he goes. Leonardo to get it away. Didn't do too well though, he should have been quicker with it. Donadoni switches again to that right flank. Panucci pushes forward. They're all on the attack here, but the shot had no venom. Back he goes into a defensive role. With a wild kick by Zetti. Panucci with the throw. The river. And uh, Sao Paulo have been driven a long way back at the start of this uh, second half. They haven't really got a shape to uh, midfield at all yet. Well, they're under a bit of pressure. Did well there, Cafu. The river. Andre. Anucci leaning on his man, and the referee gives a free kick. Another foul there. Cerezo, again, uh, nicely cut out by the Milan defence. And panucci has gone down the right-hand side, there's a lot of space for him. Gariva comes across to try and slow him down, succeeds for the moment. Not only supporting him, now Desai. Totally in control at the moment, AC Milan, as Maldini gets forward, tries to get a return from uh, Radicho. It wasn't good enough, they still have possession, though. Baresi, a lot of space now for the Milan players, making uh, Sao Paulo chase shadows here. Massaro strongly trying to get through the combined challenge uh, of uh, Gino and uh, Cafu. Another free kick. Desai gets up over the far side to support uh, Rodi Choi and Papa. Papa making a run to the near post. Not a good one, the angle wasn't quite right. Pursuit in vain. Throw in. AC Milan winners here, of course, in uh, 89 and 90. 1 0 and 3 0 against uh, Colombian and Chilean opposition then. Now it's 1 1 against uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Very much in control at the moment, though, uh, AC Milan. Desai, Maldini here. Massaro goes wide on the left-hand side. The challenge on Albertini, but he still manages to knock it around. This is good play and a great spell by the Italians. Well, sure couldn't get there. Foul bear, but he's under pressure to get it away now. No back pass, of course. That's clever. Can he clear it beyond the penalty area? He can't. Desai gets it back in again. Papa can't control it. Now there's a bit of space for Andre, but not for long. They're chasing, they're harrying, but that's a free kick. But this is a difficult time for Sao Paulo and uh, a bad time for young Andre who gets involved in unnecessary activity. And Papa is shown the yellow card. Well. That was a, an unnecessary reaction after the event, not the foul itself. So that's 
two yellow cards and I'll count for Cerezo and uh, Papa one each and it's 1-1 one, one here in goals as uh, Deriva picks it up for Sao Paulo Maldini easily cuts it out as it was heading for Cafu now Cafu's lacking in defense at the moment now on the right hand side for Rodi Joy was a Papa misunderstanding there and uh, it all breaks down Strange enough, they play it well in tight circumstances, but then when there was a bit of space, they made a miss of it. But Sao Paulo are giving it away, they've regained it. Cerezo to Miller. Good turn, but into trouble. Desai is there to clear. Radichoy. Desai coming to support him, he's a strong player. They've got the elegance of some of the... Milan uh, ball players, but he's very effective in midfield after an uncertain start. Oh, that wasn't much of a challenge from uh, Panucci. Massaro. 1-1, one, one, but it's Milan in control. On the right-hand side is Donadoni. Donny, you can do it. Not quite good enough for that crossfield pass. But bearing in mind the injury list that uh, Milan have got at the moment, this is some performance. And it looks as if a change is imminent for Sao Paulo with Juninho warming up. But the injury list for AC Milan includes at the moment uh, Van Basten, Boban, Laudrup, Carbone, Simone. Simon on for a moment as Leonardo gets down the left hand side. It's a good one, it's there! They've scored! It's Toninho Cerezo! Again on the counter attack, and they're back in the lead. Just as Milan were getting a firm grip on this game, Rossi concedes a second. It's only really the third attempt that uh, Sao Paulo have had. It's Toninho Cereza, the 30 year old, 8 year old veteran, converts the cross from uh, Leonardo. Good ball. Great goal. Totally once more against the run of play, and Rossi must be thinking not only himself but his defenders. A little lack of concentration, and the old man has put the Brazilians back into the lead. Great run by Leonardo, an easy one for Toninho Cerezo. A player who bought out his own contract to come back to Brazil from Italy, arriving in time for the Libertadores Cup and last year's Toyota Cup. Now makes his mark in 1993 with the second goal for Sao Paulo. Well, what a turnaround with uh, Milan right on top for 15 minutes of this uh, second half. Now they've got to do it all again. And the indications are we might have a few more goals than we normally have here. Three at the moment. 3-0 is the biggest ever score here. And the four goals is the most we've ever had, but uh, we've got to have a couple more for Milan if they're going to win this trophy. Now, here goes Albertini. Back again to Donadoni. Gino, hard ball to clear. Albertini back in again. It's Massaro who might get the crossing. Radu Joy and Papa right in the middle. Here goes Papa. Does well. Ronaldo clears. Now, there's a chance here for uh, Leonardo, who's pushed forward more on this left-hand side in the second half when he gets a chance. No foul, play on. Panucci forward to Papa. Good challenge. There's a bit of zest in the game now. It become uh, a bit of one-way traffic before Cerezo scored that second Sao Paulo goal. Now it's opened up again. Donadoni. Not a particularly good one there on the break again. Palinha. Palinha's pass who uh, set the Leonardo going. He's lost the ball here and now there's a chance for Panucci to get in on it. Some clearance. This is uh, Palinha. There's only two of them up front. Muller on the left. And Costa Curla read that well. No chance. Not a particularly good pass. Whacked away by uh, Rossi. Well found. Panucci goes for it. Gets a return from uh, Donadoni. Here goes Renatore, just too strong and offside, says the linesman. That was a lovely move. Now here comes the substitution. The 20-year-old uh, Juninho. And I would have thought 
for the hero of this particular spell for Sao Paulo, Toninho Cerezo. But let's wait and see. As Baresi knocks a long one forward uh, towards the swapped figure of uh, Radu Choi. That's a free kick. Albertini with Radu Choi and Papa directly ahead of him. Massaro has pushed up. Maldini is on the left hand side. Desai is in there. Chip forward towards Maldini. He does well to get it. So that can be gathered by uh, Rossi, very much a spectator in this game, but uh, finds his side losing, and now here's an opening here for Papa. And they got into him very fast, could knock the ball away from the first defender after it looked like an error there by Ronaldo. And here comes the substitution. Well, it's Palinha who comes off, and... It's uh, Juninho who comes on. Valinho who scored the first goal and had a good pass that set up Leano in the second goal. Gives way to Juninho. It's not Cerezo who comes off for the moment. Free kick. Juninho's first uh, contribution here was a foul. Now, Lucci, Donadoni getting down the right. Well, you've got to hand it to Sao Paulo. They've uh, got a little bit of luck in defence, not too much. They've withstood a lot of pressure. They've scored two goals on the counter-attack. They're going to be under the cosh now, surely, for a good bit more of this game. They've conceded rather too many free kicks in dangerous areas like that one. But they've grabbed the lead, lost it, and now regained it. But once more, they're under intense pressure from the Italian champions. Donadoni on the ball. Maldini is pushed up, so too is Desai. Up goes Maldini. Albertini gets a fast ball in. And it's well clear towards Juninho, the fresh legs of the 20-year-old uh, Brazilian. Nice little touch. And Juninho is offside. Good discipline there by Baresi and his men at the back. They knew what was coming next, they just stepped up. Nice little run, though. Well, it's pretty obvious he was clearly offside. Brother Choi, good control against Valbert. Ronaldo clears. Desai gets in there. Muller, nice touch, but in there fast too was Baresi, who read it well. Desai fouled. Unnecessary challenge there to concede the free kick but it's an instinctive habit by uh, South Americans because uh, Desai, I think, had lost possession of that ball. A little bit of a roar there as we lost one of the stretcher bearers. He slipped on this uh, green turf, caused a little bit of entertainment. So, AC Milan hurting a little bit at the moment, in more ways than one, they're trailing by two goals to one. No Italian side, that's AC Milan and Juventus have ever lost in this final. Two matches have been decided on penalties in 85 and 88, two matches decided in extra time in 83 and 87. But this, at the moment, is going the way of South America again, as Sao Paulo hang on to a 2-1 lead. And they've been hanging on for most of this game. Panucci knocks it back to Donadoni. Donadoni a deep cross towards Massaro. Goalkeeper comes to it. It's a punch. Cerezo puts it back towards Valbert. Highest of the day. But it's still... AC Milan in possession. That's a lovely ball from Maldini to Massaro. Radicoy getting to the near post. Good challenge by Gino. 
corner. They're in a hurry now. They've seen what they regard as domination of this game snatched away from them. Another corner. Massaro to take it. Well, it's not a particularly good one, but it's going to come to Donadoni. Well, who can tell from this angle whether that was on target or not? Certainly fell the Sao Paulo player. Looks like uh, Juninho, the substitute, but a real blow on the head. And here come the stretchy bearers uh, yet again. For Sao Paulo after this, apart from their internationals who joined the squad for the friendly in Mexico, they have the enjoyment of uh, a month's break, which is highly unusual in uh, Brazilian football. The river it was who got in the way. He's back into the fray, and here comes another bombardment from AC Milan. And the linesman's flag is going for an illegal free uh, throw-in. He should really keep that flag going, but he took it down again. Miller, Leonardo, play on, on the left-hand side is the substitute, Juninho, on the break again, Juninho! He buzzing down those flanks, and I must say, on the rare occasions that uh, Sao Paulo break, they look very dangerous, particularly if they can uh, get it forward in one flowing movement. No real angle for him there, and he sliced it. But with Leonardo pushing farther forward in this uh, second half, they look much more effective when they can get possession, that is, which is not very often. Massaro. Donadoni does well there. Brilliant bit of play. Good pass out to uh, Papa. It's one against one here, but he doesn't get time to control it before the tackle comes in from young Andre. Papa now the father of four children. Another daughter last week. But in his mind, understandably, is on uh, getting another one in the back of the net here. Donadoni. Good cross. And it's away by uh, Cerezo. Albertini keeping it in. No, failing. Uh, an unnecessary one there from uh, Cafu. Massaro has picked it up, but they won it back well. Juninho on the run down the right hand side, should have been uh, Muller. That was a little bit too hopeful. Hasn't been in the game at all, not totally his fault. Well, one by Cerezo, nice touch, good play by Muller there. Here is uh, Juninho, Muller over the far side, they're breaking forward again, and it bounces off Juninho, couldn't quite control it, and goes out for a goal kick, but with him darting down the flanks, they're a different proposition now. Unfortunate there, he tried to check it back, and Aldini gives him a nudge for good measure. Here they come again. Andre... And here's Cerezo, more space for them too. Oh, and Juninho gets forward again, he's a busy little player. You can understand why they call him uh, another Zico. And uh, remember, he gets a free kick. This time last year, a free kick conceded by Barcelona in exactly that situation, brought on Rai to strike a very good goal. No Rai at the moment, but they've got plenty of people with talent from a free kick situation. This could be a golden opportunity for a bit of Brazilian magic. And uh, Rossi will know all about them. Well, Leonardo has a good left foot. Gino a good uh, right foot. Behind them is uh, Cafu. The referee has put the ball back. Leonardo. Good catch by the giant goalkeeper, but that was on target by Leonardo. 
And how much of a test was it for the goalkeeper? Well, he's a big fella, he's 194, not much of a test in the end, but well struck, good goalkeeping. At the other end, it's uh, Donadoni and uh, Panucci. Cerezo intercepts that goal, has given him uh, fresh legs. He's no longer 38, he's about 25 at the moment. Rossi with Baresi. Gino puts it out, and I wonder if uh, Milan are losing a little bit of heart here, although they've got something like 17 minutes of the game left to get back into it when they've had a lot of possession, not too many shots, to be honest. Desai under pressure from the river. Baresi and uh, Desai. Everybody back except Muller in a defensive role for Sao Paulo. Oh, and uh, Muller might get it off uh, Maldini there, but not for long. Costa Curta. Donadoni and between them. Panucci on the right hand flank, acting as a right winger here. That's a lovely ball. They're playing five at the back now, Sao Paulo. The Riva getting involved, as well as uh, Gino. Oh, this is looking better. Play on. Looked like a foul there on uh, Donadoni. Andre tries the long one. It's not a particularly good ball. And the young 19-year-old uh, really has had an in-and-out game. With Sao Paulo leading by 2-1. This is Andre here with a bit more time. But Papin's onto him. Well, couldn't do a, a lot with that. And the whisper is in the Sao Paulo camp that Rai, playing for Paris Saint-Germain in France, is not too happy there and might come back here, but they're under pressure now as uh, Massaro gets a good header in. But the defender was close on to him, uh, closing him down a bit. It was impossible for him to get too much power onto it. Good cross, useful header, good defending, and uh, comfortable for the goalkeeper. Costa Cota gets this one. And uh, there goes uh, Juninho. That looked like a foul, but the referee says play on. Ronaldo beats uh, Papa, which is no great surprise. Little touch there by uh, Leonardo. Good stuff to uh, Juninho. Leonardo again has caused some real troubles on this flank. Well, he caused uh, troubles in the opening seconds of this first half. He created the second Sao Paulo goal. He looks good when he attacks more. It's a difficult ball for him, though. Costa Curla knocks it straight back into the middle. And they're all booting it anywhere at the moment. Desai brings a little bit of order to the situation as Massaro breaks through well here to Papa. Good cross, and there's Raduchoi! Well, not quite sure whether they've gone out before Papa hit it, but... A difficult one for the Romanian, backpedalling. Oh, that's comfortably in, and an excellent cross. Backpedalling here, does well to get ahead to it, but couldn't possibly score from there. Good run, though. And Milan keep pressing forward. And the Milan, so far this season, beaten only once by uh, Sampdoria. Been only once last season by uh, Parma, and of course beaten by uh, Marseille in the European uh, Champions Cup final. Losing here by two goals to nil, but uh, still 30 minutes of the game left. Desai. Massaro, everybody back for Sao Paulo except uh, Muller. Now Muller is getting behind the ball. Costa Curla knocks it wide. Manucci. What sort of a cross is it? Not particularly good. Milan again. Desai. Once more by Panucci. And the goalkeeper has that one comfortably. Milan not desperately good in the air. And with uh, Ronaldo and Falber there for Sao Paulo, they're causing problems for Capello's side. 
And I don't doubt at this moment he's ruining the number of uh, foreigners that he's got but can't play. This is uh, Orlando, who looks like he might be coming on. But, of course, no Van Basten, no Boban, no Savicevic. And I wonder now if Capello feels he should have played Savicevic. But it's up front where they can't open things up. They play well enough in midfield. Knocked forward by Leonardo. Baresi, 33 years of age, but very comfortable in everything he does. And a relief for the Italian national squad that he's decided to play Italian national football again, although he did retire after the last World Cup. But more parochial matters here, as he, in possession now, tries to urge his side forward to get back on level terms. Massaro with Maldini. And here's Papa and Rodicioi with Donadoni picking up the long cross. Donadoni's done well. And away by Leonardo. Great stuff. Good ball play. Up to Miller. Leonardo's dashing forward on the right-hand side. And he's given it to him. Oh, good play. Cleared by Maldini. What a terrific move by Sao Paulo. With Cafu getting it in on the right-hand side. The ball's gone out now. A sweeping movement from one end of the field to the other with uh, Leonardo and uh, Miller building up for Cafu, but the cross not quite good enough. As we await another substitution, Albertini is going off, and uh, it's Orlando who comes on. Radu Choi looks as if he's uh, also coming off, so double substitution. With Tassotti waiting to get on as well, I think. Well, there it is then. Tassotti coming on for Radu Choi. And uh, Orlando coming on for Albertini. With 10 minutes of the game left and 2-1 to the South Americans. Orlando is uh, foul, but indeed there was uh, an original infringement on uh, Donadoni before that by uh, Cafu. So Milan bringing on two fresh sets of players with uh, Tosotti playing on the right hand side. That means uh, Panucci will push forward in a more striking role. And Orlando on the left-hand side, and here it is. And it's a goal by Pepe! By Massaro with the back flick. Massaro knocks it in. It's 2-2. Wonderful stuff by Milan, just as they made a couple of substitutions, and it pays off superbly. Massaro and Pepe working very well there. And it's 2-2 with nine minutes left. Cross on the right-hand side. Good bit of play by uh, Donadoni. There's Massaro. There's a Papa. And it's 2-2. And Milan are back in it. Beautifully done. Lovely cross from uh, Donadoni in the first place. But Massaro, I think, must take most of the credit for that one. So 2-2 with uh, Papa equalising for AC Milan. Now we should have a bit of a final fling with uh, Massaro driving forward. Four goals, the most we've had in this uh, competition, but I suspect we're going to get more. Lovely goal by AC Milan, just at the time when... Uh, Sao Paulo looked as if they might get another one on the break. Juninho, wide open play now. An inhibited first half, but this has been a marvellous second half. Andre to Juninho. This is Andre. Andre can cross it now, but he always prefers the left foot, and that's a wasted opportunity by the young fullback. And the throw in now with uh, Capello 
looking uh, like a lot of the crowd here, fairly excited by the prospect of what we're going to get in the last few minutes. The flick by Massaro, the header by Papa, and that means we have a marvellous uh, last few minutes to look forward to. There's Orlando, chased by Massaro. Knocked out by Gino. But they look fresher, they look as if that goal could be the thing that turns the game for them, but I think I said exactly the same thing when they equalised at the beginning of the second half, and uh, Sao Paulo on the counter-attack were lethal. Massaro, beaten by uh, Gino. So I think again how hard he's worked, a player who can't regularly get into the side when all the Milan stars are available, but he's been very effective here. Desai wide to Tassotti. Leonardo in a bit of trouble. And trickles out for a goal kick. Well, in 1989, AC Milan won this one by beating Nacional of uh, Medellin by one goal to nil. In 1990, they won it by uh, beating uh, Olympia by three goals to nil. But they're up against different opposition here. They've come back twice from being behind. They've conceded a free kick here, which is a long way away from Rossi's goal, and it's indirect as well. But you can never tell with the Brazilians. Again, Gino and uh, Leonardo on the ball. Switch wide to Cafu. Back here for uh, Doriva. Valbert, the up and under. That's a hard one for Cafu. Which Maldini wins. Donadoni had a fine match. Forward goes uh, Orlando, the substitute, with no real chance of getting it. Another of the Milan players who rarely gets a chance in the opening lineup. Cerezo decides onto him and gets the ball off him too. Mar uh, Massaro, that was a good bit of play. He's been lively, could have had a goal himself in the first half. And both coaches knowing that the next goal could well decide the outcome of this uh, 14th Toyota Cup. 2 2 at the moment. Possibility of extra time with four minutes left of the original 90 minutes. Massaro. Desai. Space on the right. To Sotti and uh, Panucci down that right touch line. Andre tries to get to him. Trying to push him back. Oh, that's not a good one from uh, Tassotti, a very experienced uh, international. Cerezo to Doriva. Gino. And uh, finding Leonardo. Does well to keep possession here. Darts forward. And the forward goes. And Muller. And there's no way it is. Gone in. It's a goal. It's gone in. And they're in the lead again. Incredible. How on earth did he get that goal past Rossi? Incredible with uh, less than three minutes to go. They're in the lead again. Lovely ball forward. But how on earth did that ball go in? All sorts of activities on the bench. Referee wants to get the game restarted. Muller is the goal scorer here as Cerezo puts it forward. The chase is on Baresi, the goalkeeper. It goes off Muller, he doesn't know where it is. Baresi can't get it. It's 3 2. Now watch Muller as he challenges here with the goalkeeper and Baresi. He's searching for the ball. It's in the net. Lovely ball from Cerezo. Not particularly good goalkeeping by Rossi, but it's 3 2. And that's some challenge from Jorginho. That's a free kick. So Milan have had most of the game, but it's 
Muller, who could have the last word for Sao Paulo. On our clock, we've got uh, two minutes left. Santana, who is a pretty cool customer, is uh, on the touchline. Flag is up here for offside. So Capello's side have got less than two minutes now to try and force this into extra time. Barese knocks it forward. Massaro, they've had most of the game, most of the chances, but uh, Milan are trailing by three goals to two as Panucci gets forward. A desperate shot. They're happy to see that one go uh, comfortably over the bar and waste a few more seconds. What a dramatic second half this has been, particularly for Cerezo. After Papa had equalised, Cerezo, a rare goal scorer, and then the creator of that third goal, which could be the winner. Costa Curta gets it. Cerezo doesn't. And the difference in the second half has been the way Leonardo has played through midfield. Dasotti. Forward down the flank goes Desai. No chance. That'll go into the crowd. On our clock, 45 seconds left as uh, Big Ronaldo's had a good game in defence. Clears for Sao Paulo. This could be the last chance for AC Milan. Maldini couldn't get there. Burst is on by Leonardo, who's been the player of the second half for me. Not a good pass, though, as Orlando cuts out, Baresi. Searching ball for Pepa, great play. Maldini's pushed up in an attacking position. This is Panucci, the other fullback. They're desperate now. Setti going for it. Oh! And for one moment, it looked as if Massaro and then Pepa got it. But when Zetti came for that one, he should really have had it as we go into time and it on. And uh, that was a let off for Santana. Maldini, Massaro, and Papa might have got there, but they didn't. And now it looks as if the Toyota Cup is going to go to Sao Paulo for the second consecutive year. Oh, and the chase on here by Papa as it was really back in again by Panucci. And the referee looks as if he wants to blow the final whistle. There's a bit of a dispute here. Nobody seems to know what's happening. He certainly doesn't. There's a free kick being given for offside. The Sao Paulo players surrounding the referee saying, come on, come on, blow the whistle. Cerezo, and there is the final whistle, Sao Paulo have done it, Muller's winner in the last seconds has given Tele Santana's side the Toyota Cup for the second consecutive year, what a performance by Sao Paulo under huge pressure by Milan for most of the game and when Papao equalised it looked as if they had the energy and the ability to push forward and win it but Milan took the game to Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo counter-attacked, and they won by three goals to two. Well, Milan, I don't doubt, will say, where did this one escape? But it escaped because Sao Paulo were artists, knife men in the counter-attack. And uh, Capello will know he's missed a golden opportunity here, and I wonder if he'll be regretting that he didn't play Savicevic. An amazing goal to win a world title off the back of his heel. He didn't know he went in. But that's the story of this game. So, a remarkable double for Sao Paulo of Brazil. Tempo virar, tempo virar. O tempo regulamentar vai se esgotar. Baresi levantou. Papão pela meia esquerda. Deixa cruzar não. Não deixa cruzar não. André chegou. Outra vez não pode cruzar. Isso, Zete é sua, Zete é sua, Zete é sua, a bola vai sair! Sai a bola num sufoco quando o tempo regulamentar está esgotado!
Colorado em Tóquio. São Paulo. A um passo do bicampeonato mundial em Tóquio. Num jogo extraordinário. O grande Milan vai se curvando ao São Paulo. Levanta a Zete. Está impedindo o Jamar. Carro Bandeira. O Zete deixa a bola passar. Vai cobrar o impedimento. Tudo pronto, tudo pronto para a grande festa aqui em Tóquio e em todo o Brasil. Tenho a certeza que a festa acontecerá em todos os pontos brasileiros. Torcedor brasileiro, que título que vem numa boa hora. Vamos entrar com o pé direito em 94, o ano da Copa do Mundo. 2, 3, São Paulo. 1, um, 2, Milan. 1, um, 2, Bi. Bi. O São Paulo é Bi. Colinho Cerezo. Bi. Campeão do mundo! Bicampeão do mundo! Em cima deste extraordinário Milan! Todos queriam saber quem era o maior! O maior é o futebol do Brasil! O maior é o São Paulo! Bi! Bicampeão do mundo! Festa no Estádio Nacional! Festa em todo o Brasil! Em todo o Brasil! Um, dois, três! Palinha, Cerezo, Mira! Somos bicampeões do mundo! Juarez Soares! Bem, meus amigos de todo o Brasil! Grande curtida do São Paulo! Girando! As emoções de cada um e todos nós sentimos neste momento, seja torcedor do São Paulo ou não, porque a própria taça se chama um confronto sul-americano e europeu, no caso Brasil e italiano, foi um jogo cheio de alternativas, o Milan um grande adversário, às vezes autossuficiente, às vezes arrogante, mas um grande time, sabedor das suas possibilidades. Tenho a impressão, pelo comportamento do time do Milan, pelo treinamento que os jogadores fizeram, que não passava pela cabeça do Milan perder esse jogo. Em nenhum momento os jogadores do Milan imaginavam que poderiam perder esse jogo. Entraram em campo como campeões e pretendiam sair como campeões, pelo menos na intenção. E o São Paulo, que não jogou uma grande partida, soube se comportar de uma maneira valente, Fisicamente, atleticamente e taticamente. Você pode dizer, contou com a chance com bola na trave em alguns momentos de gol. Contou com a chance. E daí, isso faz parte do jogo. O próprio Milan sabe disso. Méritos à diretoria do São Paulo, ao seu técnico, que deu estrutura para que o time viesse para Tóquio, pudesse descansar dentro da maratona que viveu este ano, está completando quase 100 partidas e viesse para esse jogo. E dentro desse jogo, costuma-se dizer que não é muito justo citar nomes individualmente no momento de uma grande conquista. Mas a gente não pode deixar de elogiar o jogador Sete, que jogou uma grande partida, o Ronaldo, que foi um jogador extraordinário, e se me permitem, com o devido respeito, eu diria que o Baresi do jogo hoje foi o Ronaldo. Baresi perto do Ronaldo hoje parecia um principiante, um juvenil. Porque eu me pergunto, Baresi aguentaria fazer se fosse pressionado o que fez o Ronaldo no jogo de hoje? Méritos para Leonardo, para Palinha, para Cerezo e para Miller. E até no momento cruciante da partida, teve equilíbrio para tentar uma chaleira, para tentar o último reflexo. Verdade que os anjos empurraram a bola. Mas quem passou a bola para os anjos foi o Miller, sem dúvida nenhuma. Então foi uma grande vitória do São Paulo. Um time que veio desfalcado, considerando-se o ano passado. Um grande título para o futebol brasileiro. E é preciso que a gente, nós brasileiros, Acreditemos no nosso futebol, não nos disposemos tanto com os nomes e com as pronúncias estrangeiras. Porque hoje o São Paulo, que já não é, não tem a força que tinha o ano passado, confirma o título mundial. Isso significa 
de quando os dirigentes são capazes, como são capazes os dirigentes do São Paulo. Quando o técnico é do ramo, quando a comissão técnica é boa, os times de, de nível do Brasil enfrentam qualquer adversário do mundo em qualquer circunstância. E o São Paulo é o grande exemplo disso. O juiz, o senhor Tiniu da França, não teve a mínima interferência na partida. E o São Paulo consegue dramaticamente uma grande vitória e faz a gente se tornar um pouco mais brasileiro. Ser brasileiro duas vezes, porque nós cantamos e decantamos os nossos adversários muitas vezes como os fantasmas. E eles não são sobrenaturais, não são extraterrenos, são de carne e osso como é o Milan. Por isso o Milan perdeu o jogo de hoje. Parabéns ao São Paulo. Está aí o São Paulo Futebol Clube na festa que faz aqui em Tóquio. E se vocês pudessem observar, não só a expressão do papá, mas de todos os jogadores do Milan que estão parados atrás dos jogadores do São Paulo, incrédulos, perguntando como que nós perdemos, porque eles vieram certos que iriam ganhar o jogo. E não ganharam. Três para o São Paulo, dois para o Milan. O grande resultado que o São Paulo conquista em Tóquio, fazendo com que a torcida brasileira já vá se agitando para a Copa do Mundo e a conquista de duas vezes o título mundial Interclube. Está aí o Palinho, o Baresi, que recebe ali também. Eu imagino a festa que está em São Paulo. Daqui a pouquinho nós vamos mostrar o Banana, vamos mostrar o Dinho, vamos mostrar a Avenida Paulista. Eu chamo... O Eli Coimbra lá do gramado. Vamos lá, Eli. Eu vou trazer a palavra do Pires para todo o Brasil, que jogou com essa bandeira de história, o fim campeonato mundial São Paulo. Pires, grande alegria, não? Alegria, Pires. Nós pegamos a diferença de eles, são os melhores. Nós provamos hoje que somos os melhores do mundo, em termos de time. E conseguimos o nosso futebol. Pires, o que representa para você como jogador de futebol? Você duas vezes campeão do mundo. Aqui no Japão, uma contra o futebol espanhol, outra contra o futebol italiano. Nós estamos grande, a gente chegou aos máximos na nossa carreira. Principalmente, é, o time do São Paulo que você lutou muito, é, não passou e graças a Deus ficamos até aqui em Tóquio. Eu acho que é, com muito mérito e justamente ganhamos esse título de campeão mundial. Explica para a torcida do São Paulo como é que foi o gol que deu o título. Uma vaga é interessante, eu acho que parece. E aí, você tem que ver o goleiro, eu acho que ele rebateu a bola, bateu no meu pé, entrou. Quer dizer, o gol do título, e acho que a gente é uma alegria muito grande nesse título. Aí, Luciano, a palavra do Miller, que foi o autor do terceiro gol do São Paulo, gol que deu o título. O Luciano está aqui com o Zé, também aqui do meu lado, de olho roxo e tudo. Esse foi um jogo para mostrar para o mundo todo quem é São Paulo, né? São Paulo teve parabéns. Teve que não teve medo, jogou para atacar e fizemos os gols no momento certo, né? Acho que foi, foi uma partida... E que até nos surpreendeu, né, pelo placar. Mas eu vi, eu estou de parabéns pela brilhante partida, mas ótimo, né? Atenção, Luciano, a imprensa japonesa elegeu Toninho Cerezo como o melhor jogador em campo. A imprensa japonesa elegeu Toninho Cerezo o melhor jogador em campo. Jogadores e o hino do São Paulo. Oh, que 